Hey guys, it's Ash and welcome to the second episode of my journey to Max Town Hall 11. I've just completed day 2 of my journey and it's still going great. And as I've stated in the previous episode, if you guys have any questions, be sure to comment below and I'll answer them on my YouTube videos on, while I document this journey. So Roboboom by Ya asked why the drop from Titan League and why not farming Champions League. Okay, so as you guys know, I've stated before in the previous episode that I would continue to farm in Titan when I get to Town Hall 11 just to see how it's like and if it's better farming there. And I found that it's not better anymore even though they've increased the loot bonus there are no more free snipes so obviously there's no extra loot bonus and also uh, because I'm really focused on hard farming uh, I want to get my heroes to I want to get my Grand Warrior to level 20 as soon as possible uh, so that means that I need to do a lot more raids in less time and obviously in Titan League as you guys know I, I've used giants, wizards, witches and wizards and witches are not really efficient I like using barbarians and archers because they're more efficient I get to do more raids in less time and not only that even if I boost with wizards and witches, it still takes a long time. So barbarians and archers are much better in that sense as they allow me to do a lot of raids in less time. Now that's still not the biggest reason I dropped from Titan. The biggest reason I dropped from Titan is also because of the inefficiency of cooking spells. I had to use a lot of spells to farm in Titan, uh, which is inefficient in both terms and uh, elixir cost. Uh, as wizards and giants will also cost a lot of elixir compared to G barge uh, with giants, barbarians, and archers. And not only that, you're gonna have to use lots of spells, and spells take a very long time to cook. Same with my level hero, level 40 heroes. Uh, if they die, they take a long time to regenerate. Even if I'm boosting, even if I'm boosting, they take over, uh, they take around 30 minutes uh, to reuse, and also get get enough spell slots that takes a very long time as well so even with boost it was inefficient i was doing like raids every like 30 to 40 minutes but here uh here in masters 3 i'm able to do raids like every 5 to 10 minutes because uh giants barbarians and archers don't really take very long to cook now obviously Barch isn't as good as wizards and witches and other powerful powerful troops but the reason they're better to farm with is not only because you get to do less raids in less time but also their elixir cost they cost very little compared to the other troops so I profit more from elixir which is really needed because my main focus at Town Hall 11 is the elixir uh, to upgrade my Grand Warden uh, his 20 levels of upgrade it's gonna cost a lot of elixir so elixir is the most valuable thing for me at Town Hall 11 and that's my main focus here Okay next, Geometry Dash Ecom asked, what league is the best for farming on Town Hall 11? I rushed to Town Hall 11 because I wanted the Grand Warden to max ASAP. I'm also a pretty hardcore farmer. Okay, so if you're a pretty hardcore farmer like me and you want to make tons of loot fast, then you want to come down to Masters 3. And uh, the reason for Masters 3 is because I tested all the leagues. I went from Titan 3, uh, it wasn't that great because it wasn't really efficient. Even though the, the loot bonus was great, I was making tons of resource per raid. But I wasn't doing enough raid uh, every hour. I was doing less raid and I wasn't really maximizing my uh, efficiency because I also had to expend both of my heroes. I had to expend a lot of spells. Wasn't really efficient. I wasn't really profiting much from elixir either because I've used a lot of uh, giants, wizards, which cost a lot of elixir. So you want to really use barbarians and archers uh, to farm with. And that's what Masters 3 provides. Masters 3 provides lots of rushed bases that you can find. And you can also more commonly find dead bases. Obviously, it's still very rare here to find dead bases at Town Hall 11. Uh, but if you, want, if you want the best chances, like the ones you see in my videos, then you want to come down to Masters 3. And I've also tested it. I've tested Titan 3, I've tested Champion 1, Champion 2, all those leagues and I found that they're not really as efficient as Masters 3. I've also tested Champion 3, Masters 1, and Masters 2 and I found that Masters 3 is still the best place to be. So Zul Car 9 asked, 
what's the sweet sweet spot to farm now well for town hall 11 and town hall 10 i would still recommend farming in masters 3 because you're gonna find bases like this this guy has over a million in total resource uh most of it inside is is inside the storages but as you can see rush town hall 10 weak defenses his defenses aren't even max town hall yet town hall 8 level yet and uh he has so much resource and these are the bases that you're gonna find this is the main reason i dropped here you're you're not gonna find these bases in champion league or titan uh, it's nearly impossible well it's not impossible it's, it's just very rare to find a base like this offering 1 million in loot and in champions or titan league so that's the main reason i'm here in uh, masters 3 farming and as a town hall 10 player i've also uh, spent most of my time farming in masters 3 to farm for dark elixir because of that loot bonus and uh, i've also uh, decided to farm here uh, mainly in masters 3 is because of the loot bonus it's still 110,000 each i believe if you get at least 70 percent damage uh, so it's still great and that's why i'm not dropping any lower i'm not going to go down to crystal or or uh gold or silver even though you're gonna find more de dead bases there you're not gonna really benefit from benefit from uh the loot bonus so yeah i, I do want to benefit from the loot bonus and at the same time i want to find easy bases like these so bmx kid asked hey ash is it fun being town hall 11 because i'm trying to max town hall 8 i'm trying to get to town hall 11 really fast so my advice is don't worry about that yet your focus should not be rushing to town hall 11 you're far from ready focus on developing your base but most importantly your heroes because the whole notion of fun in this game and in my opinion revolves around your hero levels you're gonna need very strong heroes to farm easier at town hall 11 and also be able to crush your opponents in wars as well as trophy push so the most important thing to upgrade in this game are your heroes so first focus on getting to Town Hall 9 and when you've completed Town Hall 8 then work on uh, maxing both your Archer Queen and Barbarian King and when you've done that then you can think about rushing to Town Hall 11. As for me I'm having a lot of fun at Town Hall 11 because of that because I have level 40 heroes and I worked very hard to get to level 40. Currently my total Dark Elixir heist is over like 11 million. Uh, so you can imagine just how much farming I had to do to get to where I am today. And that's why I'm enjoying myself right now at Town Hall 11. So yeah, I got to upgrade my Grand Warden to level 5 today, which is awesome because now I've unlocked his Eternal Tome ability. And that's when the fun really begins, as that Eternal Tome ability, well, it's only level 1 right now, so it only lasts for 3.5 seconds. But still, that's like 3.5 seconds of like freezing all the defenses. Uh, that's like how I like to think of it, like a free spell. But in actuality, uh, it protects all the troops in its region from all damages, including trap damages like giant bombs and small bombs air traps okay so that will be it for this episode if you have any questions be sure to comment below and also if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't would really appreciate that and i'll see you guys again soon in the next episode later